Thank you for joining us as we learn about proper administration of several common seizure rescue medications. Prolonged tonic-clonic seizures or clusters of shorter seizures left untreated can sometimes lead to status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a seizure that lasts for five minutes or longer or multiple seizures back to back without returning to a normal level of consciousness within a five minute period. Treatment within three to five minutes can often stop this from happening and help prevent permanent brain damage or death. You may prevent a trip to the emergency room if you treat seizures early by following your child's seizure emergency medication protocol provided by your doctor. There are many types of medications that your doctor can prescribe to help control breakthrough seizures. Today, we will be demonstrating how to administer the most common types of benzodiazepines, usually prescribed. Lorazepam comes as a tablet that can be placed buccally in the pocket between the cheek and gums and is used to stop seizures. You may also hear lorazepam called by its brand name, Ativan. Although this medication is not FDA approved for buccal use, it can be prescribed by your doctor to help with the control of your child's prolonged seizure. Give this medicine exactly as your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist tells you to. This medicine should only be given when your child needs it. Speak to your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist about when you should give this medicine to your child. Give this tablet by placing it carefully between the cheek and gums, buccally, when your child is having a seizure, sometimes it's not possible to place the tablet under the tongue because the jaw is closed shut. If your child swallows the medicine, it will not work as quickly at stopping the seizure. Place the tablet in the pocket between the cheek and gums. Gently rub the outside of the cheek over the area where the tablet was placed for about 30 seconds. This helps melt the tablet more quickly. It may take a couple of minutes before the seizure stops. Wait five minutes for the seizure to stop if the seizure does not stop in five minutes, call 911 or take your child to the closest hospital emergency department, unless your doctor has told you otherwise. Check with your child's doctor or pharmacist before you give your child any other medicines, even medicines you can buy without a doctor's prescription. Lorazepam does not work well with some medicines, such as cold and cough medicine and medicines that contain alcohol. Lorazepam may make your child dizzy, drowsy, and less alert than normal, Watch carefully when your child is doing something that they need to be alert for, such as climbing stairs. Thank you for watching and make sure to reach out to your pharmacist or provider if you have any questions.